handle the truth. So it seems yesterday I pissed off a lot of Nintendo fanboys, and the day before that I pissed off another group of Nintendo fanboys. Uh, I'm just going to be looking at this article right here, as you can see the, the big title. Uh, GameStop says that the Wii U sales are very disappointing, but the PS4 purchase intent is very strong. That means a lot of people want to go buy the PS4. They're getting a lot of information, you know, they pre-ordering it. But in terms of the Wii U sales, they're saying it's very disappointing. So we scroll all the way down here. We're just going to read some of the uh, bigger pictures right here. This is by uh, Rob Lloyd. It says, we expect the first half of the year to be very difficult as we wait for new consoles. So, you know, they don't even care that they have the Wii U right now. They're waiting for the next wave of consoles. Clearly, they already know the Wii U has failed. And then we're going to go right here. This is anticipated, uh, anticipated uh, customer electronic purchases. Uh, so, you see the PS4 right there is at the top. I don't even think I see like uh, a Wii U but I do see right here the DS slash PS Vita portable gaming devices right there with 13 percent PS4 has 34 percent smartphones have 23 percent tablets Android and Apple etc have 22 percent laptops and notebook computers have 18 percent uh, so you know you don't really see a lot of the other anticipated stuff um, but the PS4 is up there you know that's just crazy so uh, here's uh, one more little headline this is by Tony Bartel uh, the Wii U actually exceeded our expectations at launch and you know Nintendo fans hyped it up and they went out at launch to get it however it has been very disappointing since the beginning of the year so you know that kinda sucks man like since the beginning of the year it's already been what three months three months since the beginning of this year it hasn't been selling with shit, and there's only Nintendo fans to blame, you know, Nintendo fans went out to brought it, buy it, but the other hardcore gamers, like I say, in our community, were not as stupid as they are, we knew what the Wii U was all about, and we didn't want it, you know, you know, it's Nintendo thinks they're slick and they're gonna be able to sell us, um, milk, spoiled milk, and it's just not happening this time around, the system is way too expensive for the casuals that went out and picked up the original Wii. So, you know, they will have to do a $100 price drop in the United States to make it appeal to the casuals. Because clearly, that $50 price drop would only appeal to the hardcore gamers, which are not going to go out and get it. Because they're anticipating the PS4 and the Xbox 720. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... If Nintendo thinks they're going to do a $50 price drop in the United States and it is going to be very effective, they might want to think again. Our economy is much different than Europe or Japan, so you going to have to drop it a lot. Once again, they're not going to pick up any more hardcore gamers, but they still can pick up the casuals if they drop the price low enough. I mean, me personally, I would buy a Wii U if it was like $50. Maybe twenty dollars. I think fifty dollars would be the max. If it was fifty dollars, I can I can, I can spare that. But if it was twenty dollars, I'll probably definitely go out and get it, put it in the toilet and piss on it, and make a video about it. See how many people get irritated. But that's that's just the type of person that I am. Um, this has been the truth, and uh, I hope you guys click the link in the description and just read this whole article. But I wanted to read the headlines because, like I say. I'm not going to go and read this whole article when you guys clearly have the chance to do so. Uh, click that link in the description if you need some more understanding.